Hey guys, <clears throat> this is your reading for September. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. All right. I felt there was a lot of water, and you are a water sign. Um, I feel like there's somebody that's been very stubborn previously, though. This person, I feel like they can't help it. It's just who they are. It could definitely be a Taurus um, individual that is significant for some of you. But um, you guys are not saying a whole lot to this person. You're really trying to shield yourself. Um, be a little what you, cautious. Um, you still care for this person a whole lot. And I feel like you want to start over. You want to do what makes you happy. Um, some of you are at a point where you're trying to decide whether or not you want to be single. Or give this person a shot. I don't know if it's another chance, like you dealt with them um, to that degree, but I definitely feel like this is somebody that is trying to win you over, win you back. Okay, let's see what's going on with Pisces. Seven of Cups. You're not sure. You're not sure. Um, like if you want to choose them if you want to do this I do feel like you guys have options I feel like dealing with this person you're not really clear on what is the best course of action right now with that seven of cups energy what's crossing Pisces five of cups huh there was definitely a loss here you were hurt but there's also some regrets regarding this person. And you also don't want to have regrets. It's like you don't want to make the wrong decision. You don't want to be put in a situation that you've been put in before is the thing. What is the underlying issue for Pisces? Underlying issue for Pisces. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. Hmm. This is something very conventional. Maybe you guys are feeling like, or you know that this person put you in a precarious situation before where they weren't really willing to commit. The commitment from this person, I feel, is not there. And that's what you want. You want something very traditional. This could definitely be um, a Taurus Scorpio even that you guys um, are dealing with here. A recent past for Pisces. King of Wands. Hmm. This could definitely be another person. But I'm feeling strong. Somebody that's like um, Aries, Taurus. They may be right there on that cusp. But I feel like this person probably had you in a three-party situation in the past. Um, kind of cocky. Not really making a decision. Feeling like they have all the time in the world. Feeling like you guys weren't going anywhere. And... Um, I feel like this person definitely has regrets surrounding this situation with you. I don't know that this person has changed, though, is the thing. Um, I feel like they are trying to give some chase. But I don't know if this person is still um, with the games. Not making a decision. Not making a choice. Wanting commitment. Okay. <clears throat> Crying thoughts for a Pisces. Six of Pentacles. I feel like you're very attracted to this person. Um, but, you know, and it's been hard for you to say no to them before in the past. Because you enjoy being with this person. But you want it to be just you and them. And I think you still get the inkling that 
is not going to be just you and them. No matter how hard they try to chase, no matter what they say, what sweet words they say, it's like, I know you're still with the bullshit. That situation right there. Because you want reciprocity. You don't want them giving to someone else and giving to you at the same time. No. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. You have strong Taurus Scorpio energy here. Let's see. What's coming in for Pisces? Ten of Cups. That's you. Feeling content, feeling happy. Hmm. There could definitely be another situation here for you guys. Because you're going from the Five of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Doubling that energy. And you may be putting something to bed here. With the person that disappointed you before. There may be a new situation coming in for you guys. Definitely. Definitely here. Hmm. It's like, even if it's not a new situation, this is you guys deciding that you're going to do what's best for you. Making that choice to do what's best for you, regardless of this person. This Taurus, um, Aries energy, Scorpio energy. Deciding to do what makes you happy. <clears throat> How is Pisces feeling about this situation? High Priestess. You know what to do. Your intuition is, is telling you. Um, is pulling you in a direction. And it's pulling you to not really consider how somebody else may feel or or what they may want but to consider what it is that you feel in your gut that's going to make you happy if this person is not genuine and you feel that they're not genuine I don't see you guys speaking about it I don't see you guys really having a conversation with them to like read them their rights or any damn thing to be honest with you I see you evaluating this situation not speaking to this person about your decision and what you're going to do this is what I see I see you guys being very strong in the month of September and doing what you need to do for yourself very strong look at this strength doing what you need to do for yourself <clears throat> oh shoot okay <laughs> all right hold on let me let me pick these cards up what is the influence for Pisces the influence for Pisces ace of cups this is new love this is also self-love though I see you guys ending a connection here. Well, not really the connection, but the the relationship or situation that you've had with someone that hurt you. This person was probably very arrogant. Um, you still have you know feelings for this person, but there's something in you I feel that's telling you this is not a good situation for me. You feel it, and you're strong enough to walk away from it love yourself and open yourself up to something new I feel there's definitely something new oh there's definitely something new coming in for you guys here judgment judgment is you making the decision whether or not on whether or not to bring something back or let that shit just end and move on deciding to love yourself Letting something in so you can open up to something new. There's definitely um, a Scorpio for some of you. A Scorpio, Taurus, 
Aries, Leo energy here. Could be any sign, but those signs most definitely for some of you. <clears throat> Hopes or fears for Pisces. Hopes or fears for Pisces. Ace of Swords. Victory. Your hope is to be victorious in this situation. To know that what you are doing, what you have decided to do, is what's right. But let me tell you, whether anybody else feels that it's right, whatever decision that you make, if you do it for yourself, for your own happiness, it's the right decision, guys. Okay? Let me just put that out there. You definitely have a new start here on the table with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. There's new love coming in for you guys. But I feel like it. if, if it's new, then it's going to be in the next, I will say, three months. If it's new love. What is the overall for Pisces? Overall for Pisces. Eight of Cups. Walking away. Walking away. Walking away from something where you feel like you were put on the back burner, where you feel like you weren't getting um, what you deserve from a connection. Walking away from it because from now on, I feel like you guys are only going to involve yourselves in situations where you're liking somebody and they're not showing you that they like you. That's done. That's over with. That's over with. The world is here somewhere because you guys have learned very valuable lessons that you will not repeat the same negative situations that you have before. You're starting over. And once you start over, new love definitely comes in. But you guys are putting the situation to bed here is what I see, okay? So again, um, Taurus, Scorpio, very strong. We have Leo, Aries energy here. Okay? And then there's air energy here with this Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Alright guys, so that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.